morning everybody it's morning it's not a good one but it's morning we're here in minnesota trying to get back in ontario the snow wasn't supposed to start until noon here and it's nine o'clock now so it's early but i'm hoping it's going to clear up because in kenora where my load is it's not snowing there yet and there it's not supposed to start until three o'clock so hopefully the forecast is right there because I want to get loaded and then it looks like a winter storm is rolling in as you can see here's the beginning of it I'm gonna be taking that load back and waiting out the winter storm and uh, I'll deliver it Monday because if it's this bad already I don't even want to know how bad it's gonna to be tonight and tomorrow is a holiday it's Remembrance Day in Canada Veterans Day here in the States and I can't deliver tomorrow anyway. And there's no way I'm getting through this storm. Look how slow we're going now. And it hasn't even started yet. So I'm hoping to at least pick up the load today so I can pick it up, get it tarped, and then get it to the yard where it's safe. And then uh, go home, stay home at, uh, or go home and stay warm through all of this. It's gonna be a fun day. I really hope this weather's gonna let up a little bit. I'd like to at least get loaded before, you know, it gets too bad. Getting very close to the border and things are clearing up. That's good. That must have just been the first wave that came over here. So I'm just gonna pull into the Senex here at the corner of the 11. Just over there a few miles is Canada. right in here see this isn't bad I don't mind this kind of snow it's inconvenient you got to slow down and yeah, it makes your truck all dirty I'm okay with this we have to have winter right this is the north it's when it's just excessive and blowing everywhere that's it's not fun that's <laughs> not fun at all and then the cold comes that's definitely not fun minus 50 degrees is not fun I don't care what you say that is not fun but we deal with it right and there's no use complaining about it because it's it's the, the way things are. I mean, we complain about it anyways, obviously, but it's what it is. It's coffee time. Coffee numero dos, do, um, two. It's the only three ways I know how to say two. Oh, wait. I ain't fi. I ain't fi dry. That's fi, right? Fi. Am I saying that right? I have like German ancestry and I don't know if I'm saying it right or not. I don't know. I'm Canadian. Ah, uh, I don't know. I was born here. I speak English. I am a subject of King Charles. I am now English. And French, I guess. I don't speak French. I speak a little bit of French. There is a whole province in Canada, you guys all know this, that speaks French, that's Quebec. And we have created one confederation all under one flag. And I think that's pretty cool that we can all get along that way. We don't always see eye to eye on everything, but... Uh, even if they don't like it, at least the crown unites us, right? All united under the crown. This is my coffee that I use, see? Nestle Rich Intense. You see that? Yes. Okay, in these little cups, I bought two smaller cups last weekend, so this weekend when I do my grocery shopping, I gotta get the bigger cups, okay? Remind me. I use one cup per day, and then I just reuse it through the day, and at the end of the day, I throw it out. Recycle, right? Trucker Josh! <coughs> Trucker Josh! Going through puberty, apparently. <laughs> Trigger Josh. Reduce, reuse, recycle. You didn't think I was one of those guys, did you? I bet you're not going to believe this either. But I'm not a vegan. <laughs> if I was, I would have told you in the first 10 seconds. <sighs> so I, 
there's that. And then uh, I have these creams here that I keep in my cooler. My last two. So this will be my last coffee. Well, my last cream for coffee anyways in the truck. And uh, I just put two in these little... One right here. See? Whoop. Grab another one right here. Whoop. There we go. You have to make that sound, otherwise it uh, doesn't taste right. Okay, and then I go over here, I get my water. Wait there. Ow, ow. My water, which is boiling in my little, my little cup here. These things are terrible to pour out of. I know there's way better kettles that I could get. Am I even pointing you in the right direction? Can you guys see me? I think I have you on the fisheye wide angle. So you can probably see everything in here. Okay, this is how you gotta do it. You just gotta pour it really fast. Either you gotta do it like really slow like this. Oh, and then it spills out anyway. Or you can just like, just send it. And then it gets everything wet anyways, see? It's just water, it'll dry. But uh, whoever designed these, I, I like the size of it. I like it that it's easy to make water in the truck. And I mean, like, make water make water hot in the truck, but uh, gotta adjust the spout, man. It's, that is not convenient. I'll get a better one eventually, don't worry. So, uh, as I pour it in there that fast, another reason I dump it in so fast is because that mixes all the instant coffee and I don't have to stir it. Because I'm lazy. I do not stir my coffee on my own like the peasants. No. What do I look like, a vegan? What's that kind of organized here? And then just wipe up all the water with a piece of tree. Now we're ready to go. You guys want to see what the truck looks like? I have an empty step deck behind me. It's probably really dirty by now. I don't want to stay here too long. We have to beat this storm. But I'll give you a look, okay? Because I care about you. I'll let you see it. So there we go. It's already gathering quite a bit. Snow on here. That's extra weight. That's what we're working with. All right, let's keep going.
just in case you forgot and didn't hear me the other 16 times I told you. There's a left turn coming up ahead. I will tell you five more times before you get there. Don't worry. Oh, shoot. I need money to cross here. Oh, good thing I just remembered that. I'm going to park right here and go into duty free and get some cash. Oh, I hate that about this border crossing. They only accept cash. I think it's like 13 bucks or something to cross. Only into Canada. You don't have to pay to cross into the US. Ah. I'm gonna run across the street here, to grab some cash. Thanks for reminding me, guys. That would have sucked. I remember just in time. And there's a place to park right here on the street. Oh, I'm gonna need my wallet. Oh, man. They won't just give me free money. I mean, I could try. I've never tried before. I just don't think. I don't think that's those kind of people. I mean, they're not the government. Technically, isn't a duty-free government? That's the only place I know where you can get free money nowadays. Very strange. They didn't have an ATM, no cash. I went to a government facility and they didn't have any money for me. Ridiculous. I gotta walk all the way over here to this gas station or something. That's what he said. It's just around the corner. Hey. Made me walk in the snow. All the way there just to get a 20. It's a crisp one too. I hope they don't think it's fake. I hate that when ATMs dispense like freshly minted bills, whether it be on Canada or US side of the border, but especially US, cause I'm a Canadian, right? And this isn't, this isn't my home country. It's not my home currency. So when I give them like a fresh crisp American $20 bill, I know what it looks like. <laughs> I've got a printer. No, I don't, I don't. Can you imagine? I wonder what the penalties would be for like a, a foreigner. I don't, I, tech, I am a foreigner in the US. So technically we're, we're sibling countries. We're the same people, but yeah, I'm a foreigner. So when, uh, when a foreigner, if they would use fake money, even if it wasn't like on purpose, like I got a $20 bill from the ATM. What if the ATM gave me a fake $20 bill? And I use it and they bust me for fraud or you know, money printing or whatever the laws are. That's very illegal. What happens? Do I go to jail in the US? Do I get deported to Canada and told never to come back? Why do you have to give me such a crisp brand new bill? It makes me nervous. Give me one of them old ones that's been around the country for like 20 years. In Canada, our money's plastic too, right? So when you get a freshly minted new Canadian dollar bill, it's like this, it's indestructible. You can't rip it, but you shouldn't put it in the dryer. Make sure you don't have it in your pants because you put it in the dryer, it'll shrink up like a candy wrapper. <laughs> uh, try explaining that one. Uh, at least that's what I'm told it would do. I've never actually tried it. Maybe we should do that. That'd be a fun YouTube experiment. Take like a $5 bill. So it's, I'm not gonna take like a 20 or a hundred, you know. 20 bucks could practically buy me a chocolate bar nowadays. I mean, I'll use a $5 bill. We'll see if it actually shrinks up in the dryer. Anyone got a five they can borrow me? You don't think I'm gonna use my money, do you? <laughs> oh, you're funny. All right, let's go give them our money so we can go home. Turn left and then turn left at 900 meters. As if they, they charge me to go home. So now, I would understand if they charge me to come to the U.S. Like, hey, you want to come visit us? You got to pay. No, it's free to come to the U.S. What they should do is they should charge Americans going into Canada and charge Canadians coming into the US or vice versa. I guess going back, that would promote more tourism and cross-border trade, right? Get the people to come in. Like Americans, come on down for free, we got you. But you're gonna have to pay to go home. 
And you don't tell them that till they're already across the border, right? That's how you get them. That's how you get them. I already got my 20. I got this rail line that goes right past the border here. I've never seen a train on it until yesterday. It freaked me out. I was like, there's an actual train going through here. I didn't think they actually used these tracks. I think it's 13 US dollars, I'm pretty sure. I had to open my door.
make some money so I can give that baby a nice home to grow up in. So that I can keep them warm through the winter and get them food and I'm gonna have to buy a whole bunch of stuff. We're redoing the nursery. We've gotta buy a stroller, a car seat, or maybe a two-in-one, diapers, all this stuff, you know? Gotta go to work. I always understood it when I was a kid and my dad went to work and he wasn't there for all my hockey games. I, I never held that against him. I, I always knew that he was doing what he had to do and that because he was doing that, you know, I was playing hockey. I could get all my hockey equipment. I hope that my kids understand too. And sometimes dad is just gonna have to go to work so that we can have all the things we have. Nothing comes for free.